how about that? We have crawled out of the swamps of Florida and all the way to the eastern plains of Colorado because I drew a mule deer tag. It's an archery tag. We're here, it's open and weekend. We've got some bucks pattern. We're gonna see how it's gonna go. We have the only water within four miles. Corn, that's still standing. We got a big, big, huge bedding area. We got an undisturbed ranch. I mean, the whole ranch is, is undisturbed. So we're gonna see what we can do with it. You ain't gonna wanna miss this. We'll be hunting about a 1500 acre working cattle ranch that probably houses, I don't know, 120, 130 uh, cow calf pairs. And, um, my buddy, he, he plants corn and all kind of goodies for these deer to grow. So right off the bat, we had this old matriarch doe and her yearling come into the water tank. And I just thought it was incredible how these deer came from literally miles away to drink from this water tank. It's just incredible that the definition of water is life just came to true right before my eyes. Right about here is where the old boy from Florida was having a serious dilemma on shooting this 115 inch mule deer. It was the biggest mule deer I had ever saw with a tag in my pocket and he just came out and as you see here he stood here perfectly for about 20 minutes just drinking water and hanging out perfectly broadside. I was really hoping that I wasn't going to regret this when this hunt was over. Well guys, as you can see, that buck, it's right there borderline for me. Personally, I'm trying to shoot a Pope and Young mule deer as my first archery buck. He was a great deer. Gosh, he was in here feeding for 10 minutes. A beautiful buck, beautiful evening. I ended up seeing actually the buck that we're hunting about 600, 700 yards away. Got up out of his bed, walked about 100 yards, bedded back down, and then it got dark. One thing that I also noticed when I was out here was the amount of coyotes. My goodness, this guy right here visited me at least three times every single hunt. And there were multiple other coyotes that would come into the water tank, but I guess the saying is true again. Water is life, coyotes are life, and it's just part of the cycle. It's early season here in Colorado. We are on the Eastern Plains, so we're hunting the Eastern Plains region, the mule deer. I was only gonna come out and hunt during the rut. My buddy Chris, whenever he was down gator hunting a couple weeks ago, he said, I'm telling you, man, he said, if you can make it out during that early season, we can get a buck patterned. And as it turns out, we have about four different shooters coming in here, big, mature mule deer that have been daylighting for you know, ev pretty much every afternoon since probably September 25th and right now it's October 2nd so what we're doing is we just 
you know, this, this terrain, there's no trees. There's like 12 trees on this whole ranch and he planted them himself. So they're like right around his house. There's zero trees. So pretty much we're doing and there's, there's big planted corn up to the north. There's a huge CRP field to the northwest. And these big mule deer just bed up in those hills and right at dark, they start standing up and they come down this draw and uh, my man has a 20 foot water, a 20 foot uh, diameter water tank here. And I guess it's the only water within like four miles because this place is dry. I'm talking dry as Florida State Seminoles championship case for the last five years. There is nothing in it as far as water goes. So pretty much, I mean, we're just hunting over a water tank. I mean, just being completely honest with you, this is a, uh, we're hunting on private land, hunting over a water tank out of a blind. So on day two here, we had this old doe come in. If you look at her left ear, you notice there's a notch missing out. That is actually frostbite. Apparently this doe has been around on this ranch for about 10 years. And I guess a couple winters ago, it got so cold that frostbite took the end of her ear off. And there's actually a couple old does like this around. But I thought it was pretty cool. that this is actually day three this is the day before i'm gonna go actually four hours southwest of here for my goat where my goat and bull tag are we got one more afternoon here uh if it don't happen it has been a phenomenal three days got to meet some great people like i said we have one more evening here we're gonna see if we can't get it done these bucks haven't been to this water and the big shooter bucks haven't been in two days over the last three weeks they haven't went three days without one of them coming to water. We're, uh, we're following a pattern right now. And here we are on our last afternoon. The does start filtering in and I just, I had a feeling and I knew that with the lack of the visits from the water tank from the big bucks, I just knew that there was gonna be something show up. And as fate would have it on day three of this early season hunt, one of the target bucks shows up.
At this point with the shot, I had no idea what to expect. As you can see, I'm super nervous trying to see where this deer went down, trying to get him on camera. Man, what a rush this was. Fortunately, this deer only ran down the hill about 80 yards. The Schwacker Broadhead and Black Eagle Arrow ate him up. Eastern Colorado mule deer tag punched. There he is. How about that? It's my first mule deer buck. With one of my new good buddies, Chris, here in Eastern Colorado. We, he came down on a gator hunt uh, what, about three weeks ago. He contacted me, gosh, back in January about trading a gator hunt for a deer hunt. I said, sure, I've never killed a mule deer. <laughs> so he came down on a gator hunt, got him a 10 foot gator. I was gonna come hunting during the rut. And when he was, before he came gator hunting, he said, I got some deer pattern that you may wanna come, come hunt in early October. I said, okay, I think we can do it. I got it okayed with the wife. And showed up three days early for my elk hunt. And on the last evening, put an arrow through this big guy. All right guys, well, a little different from last night. We got this beautiful sunrise in Eastern Colorado. And look at this buck. Certainly my biggest mule deer that I've ever killed. Because it's my first mule deer that I've ever killed. But we hunted hard for three days and the opening weekend and on the last 10 minutes of shooting light on the third day we put an arrow in this guy here and I absolutely could not have been happier look at that just character mass big body deer so thank you guys for watching this video to the end you guys stay tuned don't forget to hit subscribe turn on notifications like this video